The next exercise. This exercise is the chest supported row, and there's lots of different ways to do this. However, most of the time we find we just have access to a bench, so this is how you can do it here. And depending on the height of your bench, you may be able to do it with no incline. However, we find that you at least need a 15 degree incline to be able to get full range of motion throughout this movement. So what I'm gonna have you do is find the incline that's gonna work best for you. So we'll just go to a 30 degree incline. Now from here, I'm gonna grab my dumbbells. Now you're simply going to rest your chest into the bench like this. What we want to avoid is doing this sit. A lot of people will want to go and do that first, but we are pretty much standing and just leaning onto this bench. From here, we're going to have our arm, our hands directly below our shoulders, and we want to think about one, creating a little double chin here, so we're not coming forward with our neck. So baby double chin. I'm going to go ahead and drive my elbows to the ceiling, and squeeze my upper back, and then return right back down to full extension of my arms. So exhale up and inhale down. And we'll repeat through that for the prescribed amount of repetitions. Now, for women, sometimes this can be extremely uncomfortable, as you can imagine. So doing a bent over row could be a better option. It's gonna work the same muscles. It just does not put as much chest or pressure on their chest. So that is how you do a chest supported row.